Oh yeah, not shabby at all. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, fish after fish after fish. Gotta love it. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. We are out here today and uh, it's finally not just unbelievably cold out. And today we are fishing for the elusive crappie. And if when we're fishing for crappies, you guys could probably know by now that the walleye bite has been not so good for a little while. Pretty much been fishing every day, catching a few walleyes here and there, but man, it's just been a grind. And I scoured the interwebs messaging people asking like hey how's the bite over here how's the bite over here how's the bite over there and have not heard a lot of positive stuff and we might just kind of be in that portion of the winter where it's kind of like that midwinter on now where things are just a little bit slower got to work a little bit harder to catch fish and uh, all that kind of stuff so i need a quick mental break from the walleye fishing today and uh we're out here fishing crappies and we are going to do the classic crappie catch and cook is what mitchell wanted to do and he's coming out here he should almost probably be here by now um but we're hopefully going to find a few fish and get set up before he gets out here so we're out here and uh we're gonna be targeting just that classic suspended basin bite and uh, hopefully catch a few fish hopefully kind of let some go we might run kind of a dead stick jigging combination something like that and uh, hopefully get it done catch a few fish but uh, for now still pretty cold out this you know about middle of the day now but it's only a couple degrees out and uh, we're gonna flip the otter up get everything rocking and rolling inside drill a few holes hopefully find some fish and uh, be catching crappie soon so stay tuned let's go to going on let's catch some fish Tom's out hopping holes right now, or not hopping, punching holes. I'm hopping the holes in your zogger, but just check this one. We got a bunch of fish in it, so hopefully I can get one right away. Hopefully, what do you think, Tom? Oh, yeah, right off the bat. Nice. Loud Mitchell. Nice, nice, nice. I'm talking as loud as I can. It's my man voice. Looks like a nice song. Yeah, it does, actually. Here we go, nice crappie. Oh, uh, a look. There we go. I'm going to keep some for supper. How many do you want to keep for a little lunch? Four. Four? What do you think? Should we keep this guy? I mean, we should probably keep 50 each for lunch. <laughs> All right, my first drop. Now, we started out in the otter, and basically what happened is what happens most times, our fish disappeared. Drilled a big grid, got over to this little area here, started marking a bunch. Drilled a whole bunch of holes closer to over here, and we definitely got some fish around us now. Mitch has got another one. There we go. Number one right there. That's what I'm talking about right off the bat. What do we got? Not a bad one right there. Not a bad one. We'll take them like that. We'll take them like that. And I got little... Some reason I'm a sucker for Wonder Bread colors for panfish. Oh, Wonder, Bread is the best. Wonder Bread's the jam, dude. It is. And um, I got an Acme Pro Grade tungsten, one of the best tungstens you can probably fish. Just a little panfish plastic on there. Mitchell's hooked up again. Hopefully this is another nice crappie out here. Oh wow, this one actually feels good, Tommy boy. Looks good. It looks good, yeah. Oh, we're about to double. Here we go. Oh yeah, here's a here's a tanker. Here's little a guy. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good that's one. That's stud crappie. Let that big guy go. We are keeping fish, a few of them for lunch, but a fish like this, going back in the water. That is just a stud. The best size fish you can keep are the mid sized fish. Mid sized fish, you know, that, you know, if you're catching, if you're in a lake where a lot of them are, you know, that size, that's a let go fish, obviously. And he got bit by a northern or something, too. He's just having a rough life. Mitchell's gonna have me take a picture of his crappie here. Yeah. Alright, give me your phone. Got to book some trips up, you know I'm gonna saying? do some double duty here. You know what I'm saying? And do some double duty taking pictures of Mitchell. We might as well get a nice thumbnail picture, huh? Yep, I agree. Boom. Boom. Alright. 
Thank you, sir. There's your picture. Thank you, YouTube. My bail's not even closed yet. Oh, yep, I should have closed my bail there. Got a bunch of fish on the screen right now. Hop it around right above them. There we go. There's another one on right there. <laughs> I absolutely love the way I fish in a long rod. It just loads up like this. Oh, oh, oh. You don't get this kind of load out of a 30 inch ice rod. There's another really nice crappie for out here. Look at that right there. What's that? Oh, guy's talking to the camera. He's talking to you guys. There we go. Look at that. That's a nice crappie. He's probably just shy of 12, I'd say. Going back. Going back. We got a pretty good little wad of them here, Mitchell. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of fish right now. I don't think I have the right color on. I like your color. I like Maybe the it's the bread. angle of the dangle, Mitchell. It could be. It could just be the angler. You know, you never know. The angle of the dangle. Could be. Bounce it around up above them. Come on. Chase, 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 chase. A little pull away. The whole stack is moving up at me. That's a little one. We're going to get it away from him. No need to target the little guys. Got some movement. Here we go. Got him right there. Got him right there. Even, this is not going to be a real big one, but even this size fish on these longer rods is just so much fun. And honestly, like I was talking about before Mitchell came over, I'd much rather keep a bunch of these mid-sized fish. You know, if your lake has, if you're catching, you know, your average size fish is nine inches, nine and a half, I'd rather keep those than the, you know, those 11 inches. Got them. Well, this feels actually like another decent crop. I hope it is. Man. Fish for a bigger fish just by Oh yeah, look at that. Things got some fight in them. A lot of times I'd rather keep that. Maybe I'm just on the school of bigger fish versus Tom over, you know, like usual. What's that, Tommy boy? How many fish you got? Look at that. Oh yeah, here's another nice one. Nice. How many fish do I have on the ice? He's a good keeper size one. Yeah, it's a good keeper. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. When you get on these high flying pods of fish, so much fun. Here we go. I think he's gonna be another good eater. And I don't need to uh, keep 25 fish today. Cause we just don't need to, we just don't need to do that. So how many you got on the ice? Two? I have two fish, all we need is two. I got two, you got two. That'll be enough for a couple crappie. That's it. A couple crappie fillets. And it's funny, like when I go to Minnesota and fish paying fish, it's like every lake limit of five. Come to Northern Wisconsin and it seems like a lot of our lakes are still at limits of like, you know, 25 fish, which is just absurd. Mitchell missed one. I'm not gonna miss one, Mitchell. I'm 100% all the time. Just when the camera's on. Here we go, there's another one. Another nice crappie right there. Look at that, dude. I mean this, you know, we could have sat in the shack and most people probably would when it's this cold out. And, um, you know, catch a few fish here and there. But man, dude, when you get on and you start, you know, moving around a lot more, chasing these pods of fish down, that is when it really kicks into high gear. Which I always like a whole lot. These are the Sims. I think they're called like There we go. I like that one. That one came flying up. Actually, this one does not feel very big. But you can tell he's not going to be a little dink though either. Actually, really nice one. Oh, I can't even get a hold of him for you guys yet. Yeah. Pretty decent crappie. Nothing huge, but good eater. I'll hold it just right in front of the camera on this one. And hopefully you guys will be able to see it get popped real good here. I always say this in every video, but whenever you're picking a panfish rod, you want a rod where you can see an up bite, you can see a down bite. All right, so watch this tip real close here. I'll try to see that. <laughs> hopefully you guys can see that good. Normally I don't like stopping jigging well, uh, I got a fish right on me, but that one, we, fo we fooled that one. There we go, look at that beautiful crappie right there. Hammering that Wonder Bread. I'll go ahead and link this jig down below because it's just so much of a standby for me through the ice. Back down, and we're just fishing little plastics on there. And as long as you keep that thing moving, 
you know, plastic's equally as effective as live bait most of the time. And I'll see if I can get you guys another good shot of this rod tip getting popped good. Go down about five feet above the stack, hammer it in place, get them to fly up. Oh, that one didn't move it. See, that's why. There we go. <laughs> oh man, fish after fish after fish after fish out here. Such a fun, a fun bite when you get on them like this. And the whole key is really drilling more holes than everybody else and covering more ground. And uh, when you do that, it almost always pays off. There's another nice one right there. Oh, there it is. There we go. That one came flying up and actually committed. Oh, Tom lost the fish over there, but guess what? I'm sure that won't make make the cut, the final cut. Won't be in the video. Mine will though. He'll probably post like six of them. I mean, there we go. Nice fish. This is going to be probably my last crappie. There we go. Let him go. Swim another day. But man, I'll tell you what. Catching these basin crappies and full hopping around and just seeing a big stack of red. It's honestly so much fun. There we go. <laughs> oh man, fishing these longer rods, dude. I mean, look at the way these things load up. Even with just a normal crappie, it makes it so much fun. It almost feels like back in the day when we all started and we were fishing with the old ice blues. And remember how fun like a 48 inch ice blue was on a crappie? Well, this is like the 42 inch blue or the 48 inch blue on steroids. It's just so much lighter, so much more finessey. It's such a better feel you still get that super fun load you know that you wouldn't get in like a 24 inch rod or 26 inch rod like a lot of guys fish and i'll try to get you another good bite on it here we'll go we'll hold sideways to it so maybe you guys can see the bite a little bit better i'm gonna get right down in top of the stack bounce it in place see how that went slack like that pounded it in place and the rod tip just springboarded back up. That's what having a light tip does for you when you're crappie fishing. You probably remember a lot of guys using spring bobbers back in the day. Not necessary anymore with how high quality of panfish rods we have now. And uh, there we go. Look at that beautiful crappie right there. Let's let that guy go. All right, shore lunch time. And uh, we got a nice quiet little island. And uh, I'm gonna task Mitchell with building a fire. And I am gonna clean some quappies up. And uh, in a second here, we'll be giving them a hot, nice hot butter bath. Mm. Bring. You want a butter bath? I do, yeah. The catch and cook knife, courtesy of Jay Siemens. And get these guys cleaned up real quick and uh, I'll be good to go. Ready for the delicate stuff? All right, we got our butter melting. In go a couple fillets here. Don't want to do it when the fire's too hot or you just burn everything too quickly. But uh, in a second here, we're going to have some beautiful little crappie fillets. Mm. All right, look at this. The fish fry is complete. Mitchell's on the phone, but I am going to take the first bite and just steaming hot. And this is how much four crappies is. So I don't think there's any need to ever really keep like 25. And it is good and crispy. There's nothing better than cooking fish this way on the cast iron over a fire right after you caught them. And it's good and crispy. The secret I always do, whole wheat flour. It seems to crisp them up a lot more. A little lemon pepper on there. 
and that is generally the winning combination. And then I like to cook it hot and fast normally. It gets a real crispy. Look at that. Doesn't get much better. And Mitchell's on the phone, like I said, but he better hurry up or it's all gonna be gone here in a second. But uh, we're gonna sit around the fire for a little bit, eat some fish, and uh, get on our merry way here in a second. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. Fish fry is over. Crappies have been caught. Fire's been put out safely by, uh, yep. by fi Lumberjack. Fireman Mitchell. This beard. Lumberjack. That beard's getting out of hand, my man. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, caught, obviously, a whole pile of crappies. Needed a little bit of reassurance that I still knew how to catch fish eff effectively after uh, walleye fishing around Hayward the last few days. So what'd you do? You oh. went with the best guy in Hayward. Went with the best guy in Hayward, Mitchell. And uh, I just had to find the spot and then there we went. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one. Obviously these videos are always fun. Come out, catch a bunch of crappies in the middle of the day and uh, do a little shore launch on shore. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that. Don't worry though, we'll be back to walleye fishing very soon and uh, back on the road traveling. I kind of burned myself out on travel in December, but I've spent a couple days at home now, about a week, and I'm ready to get back on the horse. So guys rejuvenated and rested, and I'm rejuvenated and rested. So, uh, any last words, Mitchell? Nope. Said them all. Nope. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Thanks for 90,000 subscribers. We'll see you guys at 100,000. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>